All right, we're losing light quickly, but hopefully we can do it uh, with the time that we have. So, how's it going, guys? We have the Hot Sun 135, and just to put it out there, this is a 30 cal brake barrel, and this was a must for me. Uh, as soon I had, as soon as I had the chance to get it, I just went for it. Uh, there was a long wait for it, and finally I was able to get it. You know, I haven't had a brake barrel in over five years. Uh, this was the only one that made me wanna switch to it well not switch but get another brake barrel uh, because you know once you go to pcps you know that you're not gonna mess with brake barrels uh, well most people and i thought i wasn't but just the fact that it was 30 cal uh, made me just want to get another one you know and let me tell you guys this thing actually delivers uh first of all again 30 cal this thing hits like a hammer it it really does you know I call this the elephant gun of brake barrels because this thing can take anything up to a coyote uh, down to what uh, small pest birds uh, with authority uh, coyotes I keep it within uh, 30 yards uh, I know from experience but you know this gun definitely has everything you want in a brake barrel it, it truly does it has you know first of all the stock the stock for $300 it's very nice uh, nice checkering you know the grip forms you know the usual but it's, it looks pretty pretty good you know putting a good uh, detail into it um, the uh, scope mount is Picatinny Picatinny I'm sorry. Um, most guns back then when I used to have brake barrels they only had the 11 millimeter dovetail this one does as well but Go for the weaver mount you know you know about brake barrels the sc scope slippage this thing is going to prevent it um, as well as um, open sights uh, they're very good you know the usual uh, true glow sights uh, sling mounts here um, back then uh, it was i don't think it was common for for any brake barrel to have a sling mount and uh, i always wish they did um, and I know they're not new, but you know, from going from brake bros when they didn't to now they do, this thing is really going to help you out in the in the field. You know, when you're walking, because you know this thing is a heavy gun, but you know this is definitely going to help. The adjustable cheek piece, as you can see, I've a little a little bit adjusted, uh, not that much, and the. Uh, a butt pad uh, adjustable as well but I'm keeping it the way it is uh, it works for me the barrel is it's not that big it's pretty short this is my hand you know not a big hand but it's twice the size but you know from what I heard uh, brake barrels don't benefit from a long barrel uh, because they the pellet travels less while the gun is recoiling and that's gonna prove accuracy so you know if you keep keep it shorter why not you know it's already a long gun it's almost uh, 45 inches uh, not sure but it's a big gun and it's heavy again um, what else the trigger the usual uh, hot sun quattro trigger it's I haven't played with it I like the way it is uh, it's not that bad and one of the most important things that I think a lot of manufacturers uh, overlook are the the side screws uh, this one it's so the sling mount is one of the pieces that holds the stock to the gun uh, and the only thing that holds this sling mount is the screw here and since I've shot it about I don't know how many times hundreds of rounds it has not moved one bit and that to me is you know gonna really say that once you a scope uh, when you mount a scope on it it's not gonna move you know this is one of the reasons what makes you lose your zero on brake barrels and the fact that these are holding you know I'm impressed uh, for now open sights and just get used to the gun and get used to the way it shoots it is a heavy gun it's long it's uh, I believe almost not over nine pounds without a scope on it but it's not that bad as a uh, I think reviews make it seem uh, it's you know just find your balance point right there Oh, you can hold it. I can hold it. I can just, just throw this thing around. It's not that bad. Uh, but I 
I'll still recommend the sling. Uh, the sling, if you're gonna be walking with it, you know, just make it easier for you. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about is how to shoot this gun accurately. Uh, it's brake barrel, so you're gonna have to use an artillery hold. You know, open palm, balance point, uh, light on the shoulder, uh, light on the cheek, cheek piece right here. But this gun likes to be gripped uh, firmly. Not too tight, but just firmly where, um, I don't know why, but you know, again, every brake barrel is different and mine just likes to be gripped. And you can try it on yours too, uh, see if it improves accuracy, but for me, it increases uh, you know, tremendously. Uh, seeing those shots, you know, just downrange, get closer and closer uh, when I started grabbing this, um, the grip right here. Uh, this thing is absolutely beautiful uh, and it delivers uh, you'll see in a bit but uh, let me show you a 360 view of this gun right now here's a quick look around at the gun there's the uh, markings of the 30 cal made in turkey and the stock you know it's a gorgeous stock nice checkery uh, just like how it has that classic hunter stock uh, it's another thing that caught my attention with this gun. You know, it just makes it look like a real you know, hunting gun. Uh, that screw right there is just to adjust the butt pad. And the two screws right there for the chick piece. And just slightly you know, moved it up, not that much. Nice checker in on the forearm grip right there. And the usual markings on the hot sun guns. You know I like that, it makes it look unique. Um, shows what the what this gun has, you know, everything on it. And then that barrel, you know, that barrel is only 10 inches long. So again, it's very short. Um, yeah, you know, a nice looking gun. And here's a quick demonstration of cocking the gun. You know, as long as you get the technique right, uh, I'm not a big person. And you can do it very easily without any effort. Like nothing. Uh, before I start everything, let me just do a quick demonstration uh, of the size of this 30 cal. Uh, Why do you do that? Here's a 177 uh, 10 grain, a 18 grain uh, 22. Uh, these are all JSBs. Uh, 25 grain. 25 caliber and here's a 50 grain 30 cal all right we're doing uh, five shots two groups uh, with open sights uh, first group is going to be with the JSBs and second with the Predator Polymags couple of reasons why I'm doing this with open sights is because I haven't completely broken the gun in and you can't scope a gun until you completely um, get to get through that phase there and second uh, you know it's a it's a known scope breaker so whatever scope I mount on or plan on putting on I have to do a little bit more research on which one can stand it um, other than that, um, it's been a while since I've done uh, open sights and a brake barrel. So whatever you see down range may just be me and not the gun. Uh, it's been like four years. So just keep that in mind.
for the crony test, I uh, just wanted to shoot three pellets uh, of each one and just get the average uh, from that. Out of the few ways I'm going to test the gun uh, to see its, its, um, its energy is the can test with water. Um, I, I really like it because anyone can do it, you know, it's a universal thing. Get a couple cans, put some water, and see the output of your gun. It's pretty straightforward. All right, here's a JSB. Put this down here. Uh, the first can took all the damage. You know, pretty good there. Then the second one uh, took a little bit more, but from then on, it just went straight. Penetrated uh, all the six cans with water. The Predator Polymag, though, look at that. good too. Third one as well. You can see the tip right here. The polymer tip right there. So it's separated in the third can. Uh, went through the fifth can here. Just tell how it does a bigger hole with the, uh, with the polymax there. And on the fifth one, there it is. Didn't hit the sixth, so all of, it, all of the energy through the five cans first three were devastated. Um, JSB, just the first one, a little bit in the second, and then just went straight through. Alright, for the second test, I have some uh, some meat here. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Uh, you can tell just how gray it is. It smells a little bad too. Uh, I'm gonna just stack it and see if I can hold it with something. But it'll probably hold by itself. I'm gonna try and hit uh, one here with the JSB and here with the polymag and see our results. All right, the results speak for themselves. JSB there and right there and the polymag look at that yeah So that's that sucks. But you know what? I did find the uh, polymag. Look at that. So I've heard that you need it more than 700 feet per second for a for a hollow point to expand. Well, no, you just need enough energy. Since I don't have a sound meter, I thought I would just use the guns I have for comparison.
this thing really impressed me. I did not get it for the accuracy. You know, I got it for the 30 cal, which I think a lot of people get it for. But the fact that it shoots that good at 25 yards, that in itself is the reason to get it. You know, forget the 30 cal. This thing is accurate, you know, for $300. It, you know, shoots um, very good with open sights. And that's already a bonus for me. Uh, I can't wait to scope it. But I would recommend this gun purely for hunting because uh, pellets are very expensive. You know, you're talking about spending, you know, fifteen dollars for a hundred pellets. You know, if you have the money, go for it. You know, go buy a lot and use it for plinking. But you know, you're gonna lose money very quickly, and as well as pellets. So again, hunting, uh, anything from small game to medium-sized game. Like I said earlier. shot placement you know easily uh, but um, a lot of people will ask can this thing take a hog you know yes and no uh, because you know with proper shot placement you can almost take anything but you know this wouldn't be my go-to gun for, for hogs you know use something more powerful you know? let's be realistic just because you can doesn't mean you should you know it's an old saying but yeah you know um, I you know, hope you guys like this video uh, you know, it took me a week, you know, to finally just finish this whole video and clips of me shooting it, reviewing it, you know, it took a long time because of work, but finally I got it done and I hope you guys enjoy it, you know, um, you know, hope you guys see you guys soon.